Our industry is littered with the graves of out-of-date skill sets and obsolete technology. Apple refused to support Flash on the iPhone and what happened? Flash turns into a niche technology after being almost ubiquitous across the web. Anyone remember Cold Fusion? Yeah, that used to be around and used to be a big thing, but not any longer. Or we all used to work with tables, but that went away as well, didn't it? Technologies come and go. Those who see the changes coming and adapt survive, while those who stubbornly hold on to the bitter end become irrelevant. It's both the joy and the terror of working in our sector. A few days ago, I watched a demo of something called Macor. It's a new graphics tool for creating websites, and it's one of the next generation of graphic packages that's built with HTML and CSS and is designed to kind of closely mirror the idea of designing in the browser. What caught my eye about this tool, it's designed to also produce HTML and CSS as well. It's almost a bit like the old WYSIWYG editors back in the day. It aims to replace the need for front-end coding skills. Upon seeing this, my immediate response is the response that I give for all these kinds of tools, which is, oh, it'll be great for small sites or it'll be wonderful for prototyping, but we could never use that on a serious production site. However, as the demo went on, I was impressed at just how good the code was that could be produced with this tool. It was not the kind of spaghetti code that we know from the old Dreamweavers days. This was semantic HTML and remarkably clean CSS. It also allowed you a lot of control about how that CSS and how that HTML was produced. Sure, it wasn't going to be as good as getting a specialist to write your code from scratch. However, it left me wondering whether it was good enough. Good enough to be used on production sites. Good enough to seriously undermine the idea of having dedicated front-end coders. Good enough to question the additional time and money it costs to hand code something from scratch. Of course, it's early days. I haven't actually yet played with the app. It's not out yet. I've only watched a video and everything looks great when you're watching a video. But it did start me wondering if this might be the beginning of the end for front-end coders. My son is 11 years old and I'm currently teaching him HTML and CSS and I can't help but wonder whether I'm teaching him a skill that will be redundant by the time he enters the job market. We're not there yet, but McCaw gives this glimpse of things to come and it makes you wonder whether one day we won't be writing HTML or CSS at all.